welcome to my channel today i gonna tell you about the construction and the working of the three phase induction motor which is a very 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 important topic in the basic electronic engineering four chapter electrical installations i've also uploaded the videos on the top slip characteristic ac machines and also the generation of the rotating magnetic field this is a fourth topic in the PWA. in this video we gonna see about the statement construction and the working principle applications of a three phase induction motor first we will start with the statement what is the statement on the three phase induction motor is a three phase induction motor is an electrochemical conversion device which converts three phase input electrical power into output mechanical power okay you avoid the general purpose of a machine i already told you in the dc machines that it easily converts chemical uh, electrical form into the mechanical form but here electrode chemical energy conversions here takes place in the three phase induction motor what is that you can see here this is a construction of the uh, three phase induction motor which has a three phase RYB, the three phase AC supply, and here the air gap is present. This is the stator, and in the inner part is called the rotor form. So, to produce magnetic flux inside the magnet to rotate or to produce any field inside it, we use this stator. Now, the another important one is the rotor, which is a rotating unit of the machine. There are two types of rotor constructions. One is squirrel cage type rotor and another one is a slippering or phase wound type rotor. What is the function? Why do we use the, this rotating unit on this machine is to carry con rotor conductors. To carry rotor conductors. And this is the squirrel cage type rotor and this is the uh, slippering or phase wound rotor. Okay. Now next we will see the working principle of the three phase induction motor that is stator produces rotating magnetic flux with cut rotor conductors. What is the stator? It is present in the outside of the circle. What is the stator? What is this magnetic flux? Next, when conductors cut the magnetic field EMF produced across rotor conductors. As the conductors cuts the magnetic field, if the conductors cuts the rotating magnetic field, then a EMF is generated in the rotor conductors. Okay. Next, by Faraday's law and current start to flow in the conductors. As these conductors are interrupted, then an EMF is generated. As the EMF is generated, according to the Faraday's law, current starts to flow. This is a simple notation of the three phase induction motor where which is the direction of the current and vagera vagera. You can watch this and note down. Um, as I am explaining this question, you should uh, give your question in this way only. As this is a um, manner to give a question in the examination. So present it in this form only. First you have to present your definition and second you have to present your construction and third you have to present your working principle and fourth you have to give your conclusion as well as the application. This is the way you should give the paper okay. In these machines and the, all the electrical machine purposes you should compulsorily give your applications because it contains two marks or three marks in essay questions okay. Next, we will see in the question, direction of the current in rotor conductors. We can uh, find out the direction by using Fleming right hand rule and uh, when a carry conductors placed inside magnetic field, when current carrying conductors placed inside magnetic field, that is, we have placed the current carrying conductors in the magnetic field, then your force will experience a rotor conduction in that, then in the direction of the magnetic field, okay. Now, direction. These uh, rotating direction can be found out of Fleming left hand rule. A rotor starts to rotate by itself in the direction of the stator magnetic field. Okay. So, next, it is a self starting motor. Okay. Uh, our three phase induction motor is a self starting motor. Whereas a DC machine is not. Is not a self-starting motor whereas a three-phase induction motor is a self-starting and uh, here self-starting means what means uh, uh, it will rotate by itself without any external support 
this is called self starting or self rotating motors okay what are the applications of the three phase induction machines are they are used in industrial drive drilling machines lathe machines agricultural and industrial pumps and textile mills air conditioning plants etc these are the main applications of the dc machine uh, sorry ac uh, three phase induction motors this is all about the uh, three phase induction machines if you want the overall uh, fourth and fifth chapter that is electrical installations uh, and the uh, third chapter in pwe you should do uh, a like and share and subscribe to my channel by clicking the bell icon you will get be notified by my videos so uh, press the bell icon and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel i have already kept the videos on dc motors torque slip characteristics and the rotating magnetic uh, field generation and this is the video about the three phase induction motor in the next class i will discuss up more about the single phase induction motor and also all about that stuff so don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe don't forget to click the bell icon thank you